Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 EOC Practice Test 3, question number 5. The question says the mean number of books sold at a bookstore in a two-week period is 34. If the number of books sold each day is increased by 4 for the next two weeks, what is the new mean for the books sold in the four-week period? Now, this is sort of a, a potentially tricky problem if you know more information than you should. Uh, what you might know, and probably what you've been taught by your teacher, is that if you have a list of numbers, and you change them by adding or multiplying by every single term, like you change all of those terms, then it changes the central tendency measure by that amount. So when I originally looked at this, I just assumed they were trying to get me to do the old 34 plus 4 thing. That's not what this question is asking. They want you to be a little smarter. Uh, instead, they want you to think, okay, for a two-week period, the, average, the mean number of books sold is 34. So I have two weeks set up. I have a block of two weeks. And in, my and in that block, the average number of books is 34. In the next section, it says if the number of books sold each day is increased by 4 for the next two weeks, that is the part where you increase the central tendency measure. So instead of having 34, in my next two-week period, my average is 34 plus 4, or 38. So this is two-week period 2, so two-week 2. What is the new mean for the books sold in the four week period. So these two together, the two plus two, that gives me that four week period I'm looking for. All I have to do now is average these two together and obviously the number that's in the middle of these two since they're of the same number of weeks is 36. So the answer to this question is C. It's really easy to get tripped up by the idea that oh well I just add four to 34 but that's only half the problem here uh, so it could be tricky. So watch out.